Hi, and welcome to today's video about the world of photonics. Photonics is the physical science of light waves, the generation, detection, and the manipulation of light. It's a very nice example. That's the color change of a chameleon. It comes from photonic crystals. The iridescence color comes from a constructive interference of light. And in this uh, short movie, you can see the change from a uh, green color to yellowish color. And this is how the color change works. And there are nanocrystals of guanine in iridophores in layers of the skin. Uh, the change in the spacing between the nanocrystals uh, brings the color change. In this picture you can see uh, C and D. These are the, called S iridophores uh, with uh, different orientations of the lattices. And uh, Below, these are the D iridophores. They have typically a length of 200 to 600 nanometers and a height of 90 to 150 nanometers. There's another example that's the Hynopalpus imperialis, the butterfly. Its wings uh, contain also photonic crystals, and this butterfly is a subject of active research. There's uh, another example uh, that's the charge coupled device, uh, CCD in cameras. Uh, there are array, this is an array of uh, light-sensitive cells, capacitors in silicon. Uh, the light exposure causes a charging of the capacitors. Um, electronic shutters control the changing charging time. And in this picture you can see three orthogonal transfer arrays. Uh, these are uh, for compensation of atmospheric jittering. This is an artist's image of a bound exciton. This is an electron hole pair bound by a defect or impurities or latest distortions. Uh, then there's a exciton polariton. This is a hybrid light matter quasi particle. It exists, for example, in the compound cesium lead uh, bromide, which has a perovskite structure. And this uh, exciton polariton is uh, important. There. It has a potential for information processing and interferometry. Uh, this is the Jablonski diagram of fluorescence. There's a single and a multi photon excitation. This is a single photon. These are multi photon excitations. Then uh, electrons relax, get to this uh, energy level. And this is the emitted fluorescence, fluorescence light. Fluorescent uh, dyes are used for multi photon microscopy. This gives you an opportunity of a non invasive laser imaging cellular processes. Uh, this is an example, uh, fluores this is a fluorescence image of a uh, convalaria rhizome. A rhizome is a subterranean plant stem of a lily of the valley. And this image is a composite image of uh, three images in blue, green, and red. This is called uh, deconvolution. This is uh, reversing uh, the optical distortion in a microscope or a telescope. If possible, um, deconvolution can uh, can be made with a mathematical point spread function. And there's a blind deconvolution. Um, these are approximations with algorithms. Um, and in this picture, the, this is a deconvolved microscope image of, the, of an osteosarcoma, which is a bone cancer cell. This example of holography, this was developed by Dennis Gabor, who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1971. This is a rec uh, recording of an interference pattern of two wavefronts on a medium. In this example, uh, this is a, a movie of a photoflexismography of the hand by a laser Doppler holography. This is important for diagnosis. And holography is important, um, can be used for security seals on credit cards and bills and for data storage. Uh, this one goal of uh, in photonics, uh, that's the uh, construction of an optical computer. This is an example of a com compact photonic system for logic operations by a deflective neural network. The wave arrives here and it is, uh, goes through these uh, hidden metasurface layers. They decode the encoded input light and generate an output optical logic state here. Uh, this is the experimental setup. Um, it works at a microwave frequency of 17 gigahertz. 
Uh, all uh, logic operations are possible with this setup. Uh, the meta surface has a size of 420 mm by 300 mm. And you can see here the output plane. It is scanned by a monopole probe. This is a nanowire of uh, germanium antimony tellurium. You can see here two nanowires. One has a, a gold tip, this is in red. And there's a alloy, uh, this composition, germanium 82%, uh, tin 18%. Uh, nanowires of this alloy are candidates for phototransistors with a size of um, less than 20 nanometers. And they can be synthesized by CVD, that's chemical vapor deposition, on a germanium substrate. This a picture looks like a kryptonite from the movie Superman. This is an image from uh, Somerville in the USA. And you can make 5D optical storage systems, which is also called a Superman memory crystal for permanent recording. A femtosecond laser is for, uh, for used for the writing of uh, fused quartz. Um, this gives you our 3D nanostructures, plus uh, two dimensions. Um, they come from the size of the nanostructures and the uh, orientation. These are examples for applications of photonics, um, for example, for sensors in the food industry, for example, for monitoring the moisture content, in the telecommunication industry, in healthcare, lighting, and in the microstructure diagnostics. Uh, the global photonics market was uh, this year, 2023, a uh, 810 billion US dollar market. In the German photonics industry, there are 161,000 employees. This is another important uh, application for photonics, that's the broadband, broadband internet with optical fiber. One important compound is uh, called ZBLAN. It's a fluoride glass with 53% uh, zirconium fluoride, plus 20% barium fluoride, plus lanthanum fluoride, and aluminium fluoride and sodium fluoride. This is a beautiful picture of the Furcifer aerososus. This is the warty chameleon in Berenti, Madagascar. Uh, one survival strategy or, or design feature of a chameleon is the ice that can move separately. A chameleon needs this because it is not on the top of the food chain. It's another very nice picture of a chameleon. Um, you can see this uh, long tongue. It's a cup-like ant. Um, chameleon uh, uses it for hunting of insects. And uh, jerky movements are part of its uh, survival strategy and uh, makes it, it's part of its camouflage and it's a uh, part of its stalking. But these uh, designs of nature show you um, what a great engineer uh, nature is. And I find I find this very fascinating. And I really like uh, documentaries about nature. And that was today's video about the world of photonics. You can check out the links in the description field. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye bye.